Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to do a rehearsal around Lesky Circuit. We're going to try and stay in for roughly about an hour, which this should actually take longer. What we're going to try and do is breathe oxygen on a ship and use it as a checkpoint, etc. We won't be spawning any ships on there to take part in the um, Lesky Circuit, obviously. We can do to see how it goes but the main object is to learn the course and see how our oxygen, oxygen supply diminishes the first thing you'll notice I've got heavy gear on today so my oxygen will go down I'll actually take it down and give you different ideas and going on the six of I just use it for oxygen okay I don't know if sounds working or anything like that at the moment so I've been told. Sound working? I've been having so much problems with the sound activities the last few days, so all this is a learning curve for me. But each week and each time I do these um, videos, you'll notice things start to get better. Role play will start to come alive and what's and everything else go with it. It's all to do with rehearsal and it's mostly it will be on cuts. No sound? Yes, there is. There is sound? Yes, very quiet, but yes, there is. Well, I've just been notified that the sound's very quiet, obviously, at the moment, so I have to work through that. How quiet? I can't hear what you're saying, anyway. I'm totally deaf at the moment. I'm just repeating myself now. Take that from you, ready? Then impact three. Yeah, I'm Yeah, roger that. They come and see if they help me out, so as usual. Most of the tests we'll be doing now will be usually multiplayer because it's a whole new set of gameplay now. Bugs, everything is new. Tempers, people getting upset. Are this you is in? Pardon? Are you in? Yeah, I'm in. This is where things, so the first thing we have to learn is communication. Why did this work here? Why did it not work there? As you can see, I've not got my space helmet on and I will not need it until I get off the ship. But if I do run out of oxygen while I'm running down the circuit, what's that? I can use the 600i as a pit stop if I remember where the circuit is anyway. We won't be using locks or anything like that because Little Miss wants to learn the track you see. And we actually discovered when we're using different vehicles, the track actually appears different, time, distance, and everything to go with it. Go on, Little Miss, after you. Take your time. Use your key, use your joysticks. Right, I'm on. He's actually learning how to use the joysticks, you see, so I've got to push her a tiny bit. The 600i has lots of bugs, but we choose to use it so we can learn to work around it if we know how to go about it. There is one problem with the 600i at the moment, and I don't think it's just on the 600i. When the power cuts, the whole ship goes dead. Jump across. 
little bugs like that because that's your nail off you see also different bugs like ships coming out of the hangar decks certain functions that don't work but because we want to implement in our game this is our way of seeing what other ways we can actually go into it I'm now going to open the landing bay you will actually see a little miss take off her helmet in a minute and she'll be able to get back on the ship and regenerate her oxygen there's lots of new things I'd like to show on this ship but today is not the day it's going to be done I'm still getting used to these new key bindings but I've noticed with big ships of this size you'll notice the ships hover a tiny bit now I have to use space brakes but when I've learned how to use stabilizers that I'll be using instead and decouple mode all those are still new things practice 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 easy out as you can see it's swaying that's where the problem starts I only get this problem when the commiss comes to my ship right that's engines off right as you can see like I said I have these problems every time the commiss comes into the game when we actually link up together now it's not a Bug. it is a bug which will be sorted but obviously at least we're aware I wouldn't travel with cargo you could miss on the ship but you never know as I said I'm still getting there and it does work when we work it out what I've done now is actually switched off the engines I'm going to try and get the ship back to where it originally started using um, space brakes switching back on the engines I will try and get it back But I have to get it out quickly because I will get a crime stat. Right, okay. Are you sitting in your seat? No. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to unhitch. Right, is insects still on? Yes. Can you cancel, please? <coughs> right, um, thank you, so. do that all again I think it was done actually apparently I actually forgot there was um, we left one of the networks on and it's kind of this game's actually sensitive to things like that
Now we've got the difficulty of trying to get off this ship without breaking our legs. Remember the ship is upside down. Secondly, yeah, we're reboarding that way. I'm not too sure if the option works. It's supposed to work, but we actually lift it off. So this is actually a test to see what works and what doesn't. We will be upside down. Should be interesting. Jump off, jump off. I will die. Are you, have you jumped up yet? Yes. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, Brad just killed himself. They're bonded to the ship, you see. I'll get a crime set anyway. That's the sad thing about this when it comes to boat, you see. But anyway, we're not actually leaving um, Leslie because we're going to do most of our tests on the armed circuit. It's getting so sensitive, anything can um, actually interfere with it. Even if it's not even using the bandwidth. I actually thought I'd treat myself today with some new guns. Don't know how to shoot them, but they look good. I look more like a trooper now. But you guys, you're using Port Hollister and Lesky. Take your helmet off so you can be identified. It seems so real when you're in the game. If you're just stopping for a couple of seconds, you don't need to. But it makes the game more interesting. And soon we'll actually be able to identify players properly. What's your many times? Well, still broken. Well, then you kill yourself. That way, you're going to be just going to be taking too long. We just want to just do do the test around the Leslie circuit. Anything that's added on to that is just going to add to time. We don't need to see. Just want to give them demonstrations. <coughs> Remember these are different types of glitches as from a single player. Some of them are similar, but some of them are very different. For instance, I can't put weapons on my 600 eye on the on man tarons. It won't work. Especially weapons from the Sabre Raven. I can't get them off, it locks. It's got um, a heat sink or something size one. Can't do nothing with that. So when it comes to weapons and anything like that at the moment, it's just pointless. But when it comes to the guns, they're being downgraded from size five laser cannons to size four gimbal, which I think is more effective because the ship doesn't move as quick. I think the Cummins is doing the wrong thing again, I'm not too sure. Which is what you're doing. Right, I forgot what the uh, landing pad was actually. Landing pad 4. I'm 
Aí você começa. She won't buy a uniform because there's nothing there for her at the moment that she likes. One sec. Oh, sorry. Are you sure you've got nothing running in the background? I've got nothing in the background. Because this lag is a bit silly now. I've got broken legs. Right. Didn't work. Now these are all folks in the game. Right, so I'm gonna have to kill myself again. Sorry about that. Like I said, the rules when it comes to multiplayer are totally different from single player. But CIG doesn't know this because there isn't enough true multiplayer that plays constantly. Yes, you've got acquaintances, but it's not the same. Because you see friends, they don't want to do the same things over and over and over again. You know what I mean? And half of them are not streamers anyway, so obviously it's not reported. I don't report, I'll just do a stream and hope someday somebody sees it. Still got broken legs. What I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to unlink you. Let me just check. I made it. I know a lot of you disagree with what I'm saying, but it's not a competition, it's just observation. Everybody sees things in a different light, and everybody understands things in a different light. But at the end of the day, this will help CIG fix certain things. I did want to do um, a little bit of a role play, but it's turned out to be about bugs and annoyances. You'll notice when you're doing races, it is best to travel as light as possible. Reason being, you don't want to um, deplenish your oxygen, and that's what you will do. I am too heavy there. I can run at that speed for quite a while. But if I had no oxygen, I mean, if I had nothing on, just a spacesuit, I could run all day and even boost at certain stages. And I get four. I'm still here. So it's another crime stat. No point me explaining to me, it wasn't my fault. We 
you try to open the doors yet? No. Well, you should be able to actually take charges because you're actually in my party, you see. So anything I've got access to, you should also have access. And I've not touched the ship yet, you see. Oh, have I? You have to look up in the air. Right, you see, you've actually got, well, right. Like, that's the part, good thing for you called come to donating ships. As long as you're in the party, you should be able to, you're supposed to run onto it. Jump. Back up. Because miss, I think you need a shave. Shit's glitchy. Right, jump across and it opens, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm almost like nothing, okay. As you can see, I've got no safety gear on. I've just my suit, but that's about it. And what makes it so difficult, because we actually use the hammer deck, so there's no room for our mistakes. It has to be steady. And it gets difficult when you're actually talking at the same time, you know what I mean? Doors are open. Okay. Right, engine should be done. Check. I'm going to give it thrusters this time. I've got more control. Let's see if that helps. Get off my ship! Right. I'll try one more time. Then I will do one of my breakouts. Another thing is I'm actually doing it in 4K so sometimes look at things like that. Right, that's not gonna work. Right, I'll tell you what, kill yourself. One second. Right, Nicholas is now going to leave the ship. If it's not too late for me, one second. Let me just sort of cut the engine. Cut the engine. Right. Nicholas is going to leave the ship. It's still glitch. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can get out now. If not, then she's going to have to leave the party. These are what you call bugs, okay? Will be sorted, but there's always work around. In future, I won't let her get onto my ship while I'm actually in Lesky. And that means it will be the same with the Caterpillar when I'm doing Hawley or the Starfarer. All the things, they're all the same on this size ship, so I don't think it's anything wrong. Right, let me put it down to the back. I don't know how 
much it's flex but I think it'll go. See it's actually glitched on the side you see, so it's a bit difficult. I hope I don't lose your ship because the ship's not actually touching the floor. Cut a long story short. It's not in the rules, but obviously the gameplay isn't going to work today. So I'm just going to sh concentrate on what's happening with this glitch. Little Miss is going to disperse from my party, so I'm just on it alone. I'm going to recall the ship and hopefully it should let me back in. It could also be the server. But these are things they need to look into, you see. No, she kicked me out of the party, I can't get to it. Sorry? You will have to kick me out of the party, I can't get to it. Press F12. Press Alt. Is it F12? No, it's not F12, it's... Take a miss out of it for a minute until we actually take off. A lot of you will disagree this doesn't happen, but different size resolution, downscaling, anything causes problems with this game. It's so sensitive, it's no room for forgiveness. I.e., you put your cargo on your ship and you bug out. You lost your cargo. But you must always remember, this is a multiplayer game, and the only way CIT is going to be able to sort these things out, they need to see more streamings with these things yeah. actually in gameplay. The commission sit down there where you when she decides she might go round the back, but she likes to um, stand there polishing the nails. You see. I have to spawn another vehicle to send that to respawn this vehicle. See, at the moment, I'm an engineer in the game and there's no content, so I have to create my own type of contents for the game and also exploration. There's nothing in the game for that, so you'll notice when I'm playing with Omega, I don't actually take part with them because the only thing I can do is, for instance, operate the shields, basically, and there's only one ship that works with that, with that now, and that's the Caterpillar.
Oh, call the wrong shit. Just call any shit. That's a bug. Alright, that will do. I was discussing this, um... I was actually discussing this What ship has he given me? Oh. Okay. She's trying to keep it a secret. She went out, she forgot to put her helmet on. Now, me and the Columbus travels in pairs, you see. I'm not saying they're going to work because the bug's still there. I hope it does. Because I want to do a couple laps around the circuit, you see. You need to kill yourself. Why? Okay. Make a mistake. It's just that I've just seen you in the uh, bedroom for so long, I thought, you'd, I thought it was one of them bugs again. No, I've practiced weeks and months just walking up and down like this and also trying to calibrate my joysticks so they work near enough to perfect not perfect but it's the best I've got for now Um, anybody wants to join our ch uh, Discord, um, it's actually there in the link. But we need to actually change the uh, Discord channel because it's supposed to be actually two in there at the moment, but there's one. I don't know if there's this ongoing. Omega, sorry. But if I join you into um, the Unity, which is mine, I can transfer you straight into Omega, that's where we all hang out at the moment. Because is not on here now, so I should be able to take off. Stabilizers on our space brakes. And wait a minute. This is going to make me look stupid, I know. But still, can't give up. That is what you call a tester. As you can see, no excess baggage. <laughs> I'm gonna get battered in a minute. And you actually see me do this twice. Oh, 
you can get lost. You give me a crime stat. Mm. Now, uh, I tell you what, while I wait for the commission to get her act together, I'm just going to try and show you the less good cause. Is that back? You need to pull out the atmosphere a tiny bit, go backwards a bit. I have to do it this way. She's going to no side. Just need to gain some height. You see, because these ships are so big, they don't fly like normal ships. If you face down, you will go into a nosedive. Okay, what size ship is, at this size, it will do it. After burners, stabilizers, boosters, they all help. space bricks on this I'm going down well I'm not going to be able to show you the um, course the first thrusters the first thrusters boosters Lift up. So I'm not going to help you do that exercise. Right, stabilized. I got the medical missus, I think she's fell asleep. No, I can't land there. I'm in the 600 eye. You have to go to the checkpoint. Right, just to the front of me there, you can't see it. It's one of the checkpoints where I'll actually be landing the ship. This is where, this is actually less the circuit actually, okay? Now instead of running, because we're going to be doing circuit races, relay races, and changing um, vehicles, you can't be running back to Let's give you five minutes where you want to get back oxygen. So the 600i is actually like a checkpoint rally stop or whatever. This is what they'll be using in the um, Daymar rally when they get the app together. And this is the one of the reasons why I want to actually get the Hercules because now that has a role play for my fleet or fleet of ships that I've got basically I can use it as a utility vehicle to spawn quite a few um, vehicles or land vehicles. It can actually hold two auroras too, believe it or not. Can you see the ship? No. Nope? Okay. That's 
that's not the checkpoint. Is that the first checkpoint? Is that's the first one. So where's the second one? Leslie Circuit's got two checkpoints. I'm sure that's it. You know, it is it. Yeah, it is. I can't see little miss but well, if she gets it right you see the steeple jack there to the left that's the way you want it oh okay what? no I'm just seeing where you are I'm just looking where you are on the map you're running between the two what's his name that's between ah yes when well, you come out there you want to go head sort of rightish. I think. Not there. Just checking that my ship's level. a bit different to get this root. I oh, know it's not, so I just want to make sure before I land. I must have landed on the course by accident. It just looks so different. I'm just making double sure. It gives me enough time for the commiss there to get a bit closer, you see. And that must be the wrong checkpoint there. No, it's there. Basically, I'm trying best not to land on the um, the track itself, causing an obstruction. Skilled pilots go take the time to land big vehicles like this. It's like a jumbo jet. It's not a little. Okay, keep me eyes on the business. Mm -hmm. Now let's see if I've landed on the track. It looks very different. Basically, you've got the checkpoint there where the players actually start. Okay, and they walk round, there's the um, outer circle, but the track's slightly missing, but if you look by the lights, you can see that's where the track is. Now, if I've landed correctly, when I come off my 
um, 600i and will come off by the elevators. When I need air, I go back into the um, ramp, I go up and then we get me energy back. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave my spacesuit on so my oxygen will actually depreciate a lot quicker if I don't find the process. And this is something um, they might have to take in consideration. How many players will they need at the checkpoints for the players to do their mission successfully? Because a lot of them is going to die within the first couple of hours. They might, they're going to be using um, Cyclones, they're unreliable because bits fall off them, i.e. the wheels. So what vehicle they're going to use, the only thing I can see at the moment that is strong would be the tank, I mean not the tank, the rovers. I don't think they're going to allow the um, bikes there because they can hover over things, you see, giving the land vehicles a slight, dis no, a big disadvantage. Anyway, I'm just going to get out of this vehicle there now. As you see, this is a luxury ship. You should be dressed to arm to teeth. You're supposed to be in this ship relaxing. You'll actually hear me gasping for air as I cross through rooms. That's because the ship's not quite airtight. Okay. Same thing will happen in three, because I'm not in Lesky. But when they fix the bug, it should work. But anyway, guess what? I don't want to make any mistakes, I just want to get it slapped on. So I'm going to um, actually put my mask on. I'm going to keep my heavies on, but when you're doing a lap around the circuit or anything, always take off your armor. You're going to need the oxygen. You can see it's one there. When I go onto the surface, that will go below. But when I come back onto the ship, at this point, that will go back to normal, saying I can actually breathe the oxygen. But first, just let me just suit up. Check that I'm suited up properly. Yes. Call elevator. Did you get here? Yes, I'm outside the Because Miss is actually waiting for me outside. I didn't know that actually. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send down the lift because by now she's going to be short on oxygen because she's just done a few laps around Lesky. Now if I had the um, if I had any vehicles on there, she'd have actually took one to finish off her journeys. She'll come in here and she'll take off her helmet, even her spacesuit. Let me know when you're on, please. Let me know when you're on, please. Yeah, okay. You're jumping on there I'm now. On. Okay, I'm going to close the door for her now. By right, she should actually stay on the ship so it doesn't despawn, so I can do this exercise. <coughs> but I don't know if I've given her rights, you see. We have actually dispersed her from the um, party because of the bugs it creates. Check your oxygen level. Yeah. She'll actually take off her kit now. As you can see, she can function as normal. 
Now, I don't know if she's got, no, she won't have access to my ship. Go and see if you've got access there, yeah? I'll just go with her. That's the bedroom. You know what you're after. <laughs> She's lost her wig. Oh, what about me? What about me? Right, I'm glad this happened. This is also another glitch in the game. As you can see, the first lift is very glitchy if you don't get it properly. Now, I am actually trapped between the two skins, the inner skin and the outer skin. If you go any more further, you will die. Okay? I think that's the back. So try and easy. Scroll out there as easy as you can. Make sure it's not the back of the ship. I'm glad I had my helmet on actually. No, no, where are you going? If you press Ed, if you press what you call it, with no clothes on, you'll suffocate. You need to go upstairs, okay? Or press one going to the top. I was lucky there. But well, that's one of the glitches on the 600i. Mm -hmm. If you notice, I actually came out between the two skins. If I got it wrong and went the other way, I wouldn't have succeeded. How do I get out? No, you need to put your clothes on. I won't touch the because you will suffocate. Because I might send it down by accident. Communication. Things like things slightly like delayed again at the moment. Why have we done that? Yeah, I've got my seats. Well, wait, wait. Oh, what have we done? Listen, I can't get to the top deck. Right. It says exit ship. You've got, you haven't got access. You're not in the park at the moment. We are just trying to explain to you earlier. The rules change from when you're born, but it brings a whole new set of bugs. You've got to try to remember, just like you would as a single player. I think she's got a set of fuse on this stuff now. I did that yesterday. Because she's not actually in the party, I've got to give her access now to certain functions in the ship. To tell you the truth, I think I will call her into the party where no, she's in the list, isn't she? Yeah. Right. If you just move forward towards it, a bit more. Now try to act it in the normal in the normal way. Then you don't want exit ship. Exactly. Sorry? I saw it that's what on there for me, it's exit shit. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm not on your screen, okay? Yep. I'm not on my mood, okay? I'm just trying to remember certain things. You've not got Okay, um, I'm gonna have to join her back into the party I'm not gonna get any peace on this. Right. And then I'm gonna open up a whole new set of worms. Right now you can try. Yeah, now I can. Right. Well, what's happened there? Because she wasn't in my party, she didn't have access to the ship. But now that I've given her, put her into my party, she's got access to all the functions that I've access to in my party. But like I said, it also creates another set of bugs. But the only way CIG is going to know this, if streamers like us actually do these things. I am supposed to be doing picture in picture, but I've not been since 2.6. And I've got to set everything back up again. Okay. I have about an hour and a half of auction supply. 
okay? I will actually run out. As you can see, I have got a lot of gear on. Medium armor, but it does use oxygen. But if you check my heartbeat, it should raise to about 100. So 150. When it gets to about 170, you need to slow down. Why? Because your oxygen will drop like nobody's business. And also, your speed will reduce. If you're doing races, those things will still happen. But keep an eye on the oxygen level. I can actually do it. If I knew which way I was running. I am running. You need, if you're not, is that you? Yes. Well, someone needs to sit in this seat, I'll adjust this sit here. Sorry, um, I took my um, mind off it again. This happens when I'm just doing more than one thing at a time, you see. And it just makes the video just oh, drag on. Company. You need to sit in the captain's seat. Yeah, we've got company. I think we've got an invited guest, so I don't think we're going to have to carry this stream on. This is what happens when oh, we're streaming. Gone. Has it gone? Yeah, they're gone. You're going to rescue. I've slightly lost my bearings here, so you have to bear with me to get back onto course. Nothing looks familiar. I know I'm on track, but it just looks different. See, I've got light armor on. So I will actually hover between 100, roughly about that. But keep your eye that it doesn't go too high. You don't want it anywhere near 150 because you will replenish your oxygen. And if you're doing a course on Lesky, you want to do as much sprinting as you can. So you have to be as light as you can, but I'm not. I'm just gonna trot around the course. It should take about 10 minutes. I'm sorry about this, but it's for demonstrating because our org needs to know these things because there's certain things implemented in the game for them to create different levels. Basically, if they want to haul equipment, utility, they need to pass a simple test of running around a racetrack if they want to be a racer or whatever they want to be. These little requirements are needed, i.e. they want to know how to use the oxygen what things to use automatically so they don't let down the team players i'm actually watching team players now they're going into groups got a crime stat and they're causing havoc with the other players and the other players are getting upset it can't be helped and i understand but the players at the end of the day experienced players should understand this and try and create some kind of a defense yeah we know the um pirates and um Level one crime stat creates a magnet. We know that, but it can be sorted if they work things out. It's what we call bugs work around. Me, I'm no good at um, combat. I'm an engineer, I'm an explorer. There's no gameplay for me at the moment with our guys. So I choose to do streaming and try to create my own content. But when they get to realize that I do have some use in there, then they'll start giving me some functions, i.e. they might let me work the shields or they might let me fly on their experience caterpillar. But at the moment, I'm just a test pilot. Not criticising. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. No, I'm just being funny. But like I said, for my type of role play, it's not out there yet. So exploration, anything I can find, I'll use towards the game. 
Now that way takes you back to Lesky. Okay, that's through the back door. It's very different when you're running on ground, but obviously when you're running on ground without no what's then the things that take into account is your oxygen level. Okay, that's the most important because you want to know when you're gonna reach your next checkpoint. So obviously I'm gonna pace it. If you're in a vehicle, okay, for instance, you want to use the cyclone. The cyclone's so unreliable, your wheels will drop off. You need to know if you've got enough oxygen to peg leg it, yeah, run. The Rover is slower, but it's the most sheer bet of all. You don't want, the Rover will get you there, but you need a little amount of oxygen to travel that distance. So I would say the Rover doing a day mile rally, you'd be lucky if you get 50 miles out of it, taking a roughly about two hours because obviously it stops that, stops that, etc. Going up there is a dead end. I know that for a fact. I'm just starting to learn the route there now. I will be actually using the Atleski circuit as one of my training programs and there will be rewards. Actually, I would ask the rewards I would actually give for this is my key bindings because they actually work well with running like this, sensitivity, planes and everything. Those will be all in the description when we do it. But at the moment, we just need to learn how to play properly and rehearse. It's just not just going from Lesky to Grim Hex and getting bored and going pew. There's a heck of a lot. You've got to create your own content. If you're streamers, stream it it might be as shabby as this i call these uncut as you can see my oxygen is actually deprimishing i should actually have done it without the gear but i just want to show you when i get to the other side i can actually recharge my oxygen level board on board the ship um i was told yesterday that the oxygen pens are actually working. Well, I don't know that. That way it goes back to Lesky. I think. I use that landmark, that steeple jack on um, deck one. Okay. To reach uh, Little Miss in the 600i, it should take me about 10 minutes. I have got plenty of oxygen. If I haven't, I've got a problem. No, what I'll do, I'll take off my gear because now I'm actually panicking. But I know I've got plenty. And it's the first time I've actually done this test with light armour and heavy gear behind my back. But it's a good test. I'm on discipline. It's like you guys doing press ups, I'm doing jogs. I will continue at this speed. If I was using light armor, I could actually sprint, but I can't do that with this because it's going to make me go into a crawl very shortly. I've used one third of my oxygen level and I haven't done one third of the course yet. So you guys, when you want to do races, you need to travel as light as possible. Now, you might be thinking, what's the point of having races if it's not implemented in the game? You don't want to be flying, doing one thing all day. You're going to get bored. But the good thing is, you're getting the practicing what you need now. What me and the committee has been planning, okay, for our time and effort, she will say she can donate the ships. Well, okay, we'll give you a rover to do the coursing and she can 
you give her 50 AUC credits, which can be done in the game, okay? And you've got, you can run around the course, and you can also be on stream at the same time. So basically, if she's got the ships, I mean, the land vehicles, and you want to take part every Monday, she will be here at 12 o'clock UK time. She will have the ships, sorry, the land vehicles there for you. So you can actually practice doing these courses and time lapse, etc. I'm not even halfway around the course, I'm now panicking. 19 minutes left. So I'm going to now strip. Because I have to travel light. Um. I have to be careful because the other one undresses and I've got to take everything off, <laughs> including guns. Oh, oh, where's my helmet? Please don't make the mistake and take your helmet off. Okay. Always double check, especially when you're panicking. When your adrenaline gets going, <laughs> you will make mistakes. And I'm one of them. And then you'll die. Right, I've got my guns on. I've got to take them off. They all add to serious weight on this. I'm in the safe zone. Like traveling a full backpack. <laughs> And now I'll go on my merry way. I'll come to the options and level. I've got 18 minutes. Am I going the right way? I think so. Yes, I am. I've got 18 minutes. Now you've got to think, if I couldn't make it halfway there, I'm going to make it now. Trust me, I will make it. My heartbeat will stay below 100. So I'm not using much oxygen. Well, what's the difference between a vehicle and you running on foot? Well, when you're in a vehicle, you're not moving. So if you're not moving, you're not consuming as much energy. Basically, you are still. And the same thing also applies to when you're in space. And if you do the um, marathon, all these things you're going to have to take into account. I won't be taking part because I've not been invited, obviously. I think it's just for Pacific Org members and whatnot. What is? No, um, they've got a main rally going on, I think it's January. I'm oh, Kmart one. Yeah, but they've not worked it out properly. They need so many pit stops because of the distance. So yeah. that means they need so many players to be there. Or they're going to lose a lot of players in the first couple. What they want to say is, they want them to bring their own vehicles. I think that will be open to cheating. Why? Because they can use those to jump across the pit stops and cheat. See, I don't think they should use a knocks on these rallies. Well, no, not on the Lesky circuit because it can jump over. That's the main purpose, you see. But this is for training purposes. Basically, what this is to do is to help players to learn how to communicate. They don't know how to communicate and something as simple as this doing a relay rally if they can't do a simple relay by getting out of the one getting out of the um ursa and swapping places or getting out and going and doing a circuit like this or getting out and jumping in cyclone in the opposite seat if they can't do things like that they're not going to succeed and they're supposed to be team players so things like this doing it in out they won't get the idea how to do it the first time, but as you do it more, it will develop and they can see the practicality of it. We're creating our own content yeah. at the end of the day. And when CIG, if they like it, they'll add it into theirs or whatever they're going to do. It's just give them ideas what gameplay can be implemented and why. We want to do rallies, we want to do this, we want to do that, but no one's given them the content for them to create these ideas, our missions. 
As you can see, the oxygen level is slowed down. It hasn't stopped, it will run out in 18 minutes. But if you look at my, my, arm, my heartbeat, it's at 60. That's because I'm running light. Now you can see the 600 in the mist there, okay, on the just slightly to the left. I will go there and I will get my oxygen level back and whatnot. Now if, the, if that ship had took off, well you can't take off a Brimex obviously. If the ship had took off from Port Hollister, it wouldn't work. I'm only showing this video is, so when they do decide to do the day mile rally or the whatever rally, they're going to need a ship so the players can regenerate. At this point, the oxygen level will actually go down a bit quicker. Well, it did in 2.1. <laughs> I'm actually practicing this course all the time now to increase my um, lap time because sooner or later they're going to be doing it for high reward. There's going to be prizes in this. It's so simple 10 minutes out of your time to learn this course. Have you crashed? No. I can go for a sprint now. Are you going to watch me? Um, have I set this for sprint? Yes, I, I can't control the arm uh, movements. I'm going to try and deplenish, deplenish my oxygen level. Oh, I can do this one. Right now, I'm on a sprint. You will see the oxygen level drop, and you'll see my heart rate go right up pretty fast. It's on 18 minutes at the moment. It'll go up and watch the heart rate. When it starts going over 100, that's when you start seeing things actually starting to drop. But these are what you call the last minute sprints where you don't care. You know what I mean? And if you're doing um, a relay, for instance, in this ship, if you're doing a relay, you can actually take somebody's ship and he's going to have to wait or run a lap because he has to finish his lap. Basically, it's two laps. The one we're doing is two laps in a Nox, if you do one, two laps in a Rover, two laps in a Cyclone, and two laps on foot. Now, as you can see, 18, 15 minutes. Now, I'm at the checkpoint. The checkpoint was there, obviously, but the ship can't get there. You could use another ship, any ship will do, but I choose to use this. And the reason why I choose to use this is because when the next patch comes out, I'll be able to load the vehicles on this ship and then I'll be able to do the rallies prop no, the circuits properly. If you watch the oxygen level, it will start to rise very quickly. As you can see. Now this at the moment can only be done at Lesky are the main port station. So I'm just waiting for me pit stop, get a cup of tea, get a crumpet, sign my name into checkpoint, and if my next checkpoint was to take um, a vehicle out, the Nox or my Rover would be actually ready coming down on this and going round again. As you can see, it's going down. So there's no point me dragging on this bit. Um, this video so I'm actually going to stop this video and actually try and start one again with me and Uncle Miss with a cyclone and a rover and you'll actually see the drawbacks the cyclone the wheels will drop off and I know you've all said it no it won't it does have well we're in team play as I said there's bugs but I'll just let the um, oxygen level get to level
Tell me about the 600i weapons loadout. Oh, those are things I've been working on. As you can see, the oxygen levels pretty up. Oh, I can even take my um, kit off now if I wanted to. And I do believe these sorts of ships, I don't think you should be walking around in a spacesuit. Where did I get that ugly hat from? I've got the wrong hat on. I mean helmet. Anyway, I'm going to undress. Not that sort of undress. I'm going to take off my only suit. Get that horrible hat off first. It's going to stick on the right hat. I won't put my armor on. Doesn't it? It's not really needed. But you, even when you want to go for your space suit, it depends on the, in emergency. Uh, you have to go through certain precautions. I had to actually rearrange my space suit before I took it off, just in case something happens, I need to get back into emergency. At this point, I won't see me help or nothing, but as you can see, I'm perfectly healthy. If I want to see my oxygen level, go in here. I always check that the readings on here, the ATM, not ATM machine, is at one bar. If it's less than that, do not take your helmet off. Checking your oxygen level. Where is it? Is it this? Okay. it's not showing okay let me put it back on but anyway as you can see i can put it back on it will regenerate but as you can see i'm actually functional in the ship this is where i get a bug don't go through that door <laughs> sorry about that change your mind <laughs> i'm going to meet the club you see and you see what happened it's one of the bugs in on the game on that front one this is a back elevator first i will go down by mistake and no i will glitch but not that easy top deck so really it's been about glitches and bugs and annoyances about in this i'll actually change the name on this actually these bugs are not just on the 600 i well the lift is but the rest of it isn't that noise you're hearing is me going through the airlocks lesky has it flushed out prop not lesky paul talister has it worked out properly but here it has not okay it's been on about an hour we've got an audience Okay. Oh, yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the ship back and I'm going to land it, yeah? I'm going to take the ship yeah, back. Yeah, okay, do you want to jump out of the seat then, yes? Yeah, unless you want to do it. No, I haven't landed this one yet. Now, when I go back to Lesky, I will have to put my suit on. Because they were, it doesn't work when you go back to Lesky, it actually takes them privileges away until you respawn it but we have one problem the commiss is on my ship now this is going to be interesting well she's not party and the glitches is not as bad yes it does happen when she's on the ship but it's not as bad I'll know from the minute I take off if it starts to sway 
where they put the engines on that is Now look at me, are you sitting down? No. Well for the time being, don't go into any airlocks, okay? Yeah, or not. Whatever room you're in, I would suggest that you stay in that room. But you should actually sit down. Yeah, that's it. All passengers, please take your seat. We're about to land in Lesky. I will land in landing pad one. Now how do I know which is landing pad one? I use a steeple jack. Where is the steeple jack? It's over there. The first that would be number four then. I'm in the seat. If they change the shape of the 890 jump, I would actually consider buying that shape. But they'd have to make it pretty close to this. I know they've got more variants. I just don't like the squareness of that shape, any shape or form. We do know that the R6 generators are test for them ships and they're the origin ships to go out there. You know what I mean? But, ah, that's it. The stations at the back, I think, should be a science station and an engineer station, plus whatever they can do with it. We had a big discussion about that yesterday with the old players, and they say it's not a science station. This ship needs its role play. We don't need limitations. So I actually think it's when we actually party, I, have to, I actually have the problems. I actually use gimbaled weapons on my ship. You'll notice as I'm turning, them guns turn because I'm using gimbal size fours, not the laser size fives. Reason being, this ship doesn't turn. Is that me? Reason being, I find these to be more effective because they can move around. As you can see, it, it was a man. Hmm? It was a man. It's a gold gold crime star. Engines off. You can have it. Where are you going to go, miss? Where are okay. you? Don't leave the ship because you've not got your suit on. I think that's a bug on the way out. You reverse it. Where are you? Behind you. Oh, I've got my suit on. Any chance to tell me where you are? Ah, there you are. And you can see I've got receivers on. Oh. That's okay. No, you're going to take the ship anyway. So, anyway, thanks for taking time out. I will be spending some more time on the 600i, and I'll also be spending time on the Lesky circuit working out what different things it can be done. Those will be the next six weeks. If you want to take part, join the Discord channel and we'll move you into the main Omega until I start out the documentation. I'm going to have to take a seat. That was exhausting. Where's the seats? Look at Miss Rose. She does sit there. She forgets to take off her kidney seat.
Nah, she's not going to take it off. Anyway, Hi. video's ended now. Wow, taking it off. But I lost my hair, as usual. Yeah, but it's okay, we're going to end it now. It's just for demonstration, it's just for demonstration, did the 